Okay, and we're back. So, basically, um, we're back, and I just answered the console game versus PC game, which I talked a lot about. And once again, if you want, want to see me do an extra video about that, please, please post in the comments. Now what we've got is basically another question by Dog. Actually, two more. The next two upcoming questions are, are by Dog. He, sub he submits lots of good questions. Uh, do you have a crush on someone, or does somebody have a crush on you? Um, P.S. My, my opinion, get a haircut. Well, that's not a question, that's an opinion, which I don't really give a shit about, honestly, dude. I'm going to keep my hairstyle how it is, and I really, really don't want people talking about my haircut anymore. Because it, uh, it's, a t it's a touchy topic. People on the internet think it's a, think I should cut it. People in real life don't. Like, people in real life say to my face, I like your haircut. I think you should keep like that. People make, re relatives have made pictures of my haircut, like, say, okay, I like your haircut. Let me see if I can, like, you know, people also say about my hair color. I I'll take a picture of that. I I'll give this to my hairstylist, and I'll say... I want my uh, I want my kid to have the same hair color, so I'm like okay, because uh, I so for some reason I have some sort of unique hair color, which I don't see what people think is a big deal. But anyway, do you have a crush on someone, or does someone have a crush on you? Some well, someone used to have a crush on me. This totally weird, real weird girl. Um, not not bad at heart, but kind of weird. Uh, and I didn't have a crush on her back at all. The only reason I think she had a crush on me is because I was the only one that was nice to her. Yeah. Everyone else was a, was a dick to her. People are assholes. Everywhere. <laughs> and I was the only one that was, that was, uh, polite and nice to her. So, that's probably what attracted her to me. Uh, and also, I think, uh, um, she brought, might even still have a crush on me, and I said, you know, I respectfully said, I, um, I don't have any feelings for you. I understand that you have feelings for me, but it, nothing can happen because I don't have feelings for you, quite simply. And that might, that might have, you know, broken her heart or whatever, but I, there's nothing I can do about it. I, I, I can't, I can't be relationship with someone, first of all, I don't find attractive at all. Her personality or her her looks were attractive at all to me. She she kind of uh, I kind of found her a little bit disgusting even. But you know I, I can't I can't be in a relationship with someone I don't want to be in a relationship with just because they like me and I'll hurt their feelings. That that's not that's not a thing I can do. I don't think her feelings were hurt in the end. About me having a crush on someone, I've had minor crushes on people, but it's just basically just because. Uh, I, I, don't, I haven't had, I haven't really found someone. Let's say, oh man, I really want to be with her. I really want to, you know, be with her. Be with her. Um, I had minor crushes on people. When I say minor, I mean it was a crush based on her looks, not her personality. And honestly, right now, there's no one I really, I really want to be with or have a crush on. Um, simply because of the personality. Because I think a lot of people are. are you know, fucking ridiculous how they behave. Um, anyway, that's a that's a good question again by Doc. And the next question is a very good question, a very very good question, and it's by Doc again. And it's, are you religious? Now, no, I am not. I am an atheist. And if you don't know what that an atheist is, an atheist is a person that basically doesn't believe in God, yeah? If he, if there's a person that's a non-believer, that doesn't believe in God, because of the reasonable doubt, yeah? I don't believe in God because, you know, there's, there's a, there's a very proven method of science, e evolution, yeah? Science has been pr proven as a method to determine the truth, I saw that type of thing. I'm not saying evolution is right on the spot because it's been changed over over time, but I think it's a it's a more valid it's a more valid theory about what happened to the Earth and how did the Earth how did life come to be as it is today than let's say God created everyone and you know that's it. Uh, I I think it's a I I think I'm definitely 
Now, some of you might say, you know, how can you, how can you not believe in God? You can't prove that He de doesn't exist. That's that's completely illogical because the way things work, yeah. Anything else, like if you say, if you make a claim, or if I make a claim, I have a gold statue in my in my in my garage, or I have, I did a triple backflip, yeah. I'm the one that you say I don't believe you. You have to prove that to me. Show me a video. Everything, every time else, you have to prove to me that you did what you did, or I did what what I did. It's not the other way around. Like if I say, no, I don't believe you did the backflip. Prove that you didn't do the prove that I didn't do the black backflip. That that sounds completely ridiculous, doesn't it? Yeah, it's the same thing with religion. You you're claiming there's a there's an all powerful being. Prove it. I'm claiming there's no all power for being. I don't have to prove it because you're the one making the positive claim. I have reason to believe there is no all power for being. Now, let, let me let me make this clear that I I don't I don't exclude the fact that there's an all powerful being out there, that there's God out there. I just find it so unreal, unlikely that there is because of the fact that there's never been any pr good proof for it, and there's never there never probably never will be any good proof for it.